What's up everybody, my name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today, let's talk these Jordan 1 Low Gym Reds. So stay tuned. Hoping one day I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I started my own life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Jordan 1 Lowe's, Jim Reds. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release June 29th, to the best of my knowledge. Both pairs coming in at $100, right? Okay, now of course, you know the kid glance at the resale price and look like the, there's two different colorways, so I don't wanna mix this up. So I'm gonna say the cardinal red colorway, which is basically the white and red blocking with the yellow writing on the back of the hill. That's gonna say, I'm gonna say that's the gem red, kind of like cardinal colorway. That one on the resale market is averaging about $190 and up, depending on the size. Now, the other colorway, which we're calling the street name, is the reverse black toes, right? Okay, go figure. Look like they're averaging right at retail at $100 and up, depending on the size. So, depending on what you like, there could be a little bit of money to be made, but neither here nor there, these are both dropping on the Nike app. Not the Nike sneakers app, the Nike app. There is a difference. Do you use the same account to access both of them? Yes, I, I know, right? Don't shoot the messenger, but these are loaded up on the Nike app. Now, I know foot sites and foot stores have already released these shoes, I wanna say um, at the beginning of the month, but towards the end of the month, you know Nike tends to do things a little bit on the late end, right, okay? Now, let's just state some obvious. Now, this is the perfect time where, you know, these shoes, these shoes are releasing at the perfect time for summer is what I want to say, right, okay? I think right now they know Jordan Lowe's are gonna do their thing over the summertime, so, Neither here nor there, I would say this, man. You can't really go wrong with like a red and white Jordan in general, right? Okay, now it seems like to me, it seems like these cardinal colorways seem like they're slightly more on the popular end, but I feel like these reverse black toes are gonna do well as well. However, for the kid, man, if I gotta keep it 100, I'm really not too excited about these. It's kind of one of those for the price retail wise for $100, you can't beat it. So it's like if you, are looking for a nice summer shoe, these are it, right? Okay, let's just keep it 100 right there. But overall, it's kind of one of those, if you've got the collection where you want to be and you're kind of being selective, then I can understand that as well. Now for me, personally, for the kid, as much as I am a sucker for red, it's gonna be a skip for the kid for both pairs. Not that they're not drip, I definitely like them, okay? Right, okay, and plus I think these reverse black toes, they had already released these in the women's already. But um, neither here nor there, for me personally, I just know me, I am very particular when it comes to my Jordan 1 lows. So for me, it's going to be a skip, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section. And will you be going after these on June 29th, retailing at $100. And of course, let me know if you think they're drip, or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. Really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.